Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech, and today we're checking the Xiaomi Mi security camera. To be honest, I don't even need this thing. And actually, I really wanted it since, I don't know, it's just a cool thing. And sometimes I might need it. I mean, I don't really need uh, to monitor my room or something like that currently. Oh wow, that's a huge booklet, but sometimes you do need. Okay, so we have some box here, let's put that aside. And let's take a look at the camera, I guess, if we can manage to pull it off. We cannot, for some reason. It seems like it's stuck there. Maybe here? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm struggling here a little bit, but, okay, now that's good. Okay, so, I'm trying to shoot with a new angle here, so I'm not really sure. Let me know if this video is a little bit better in terms of the angle. Let's move all the boxes aside. We'll need a thumbnail anyways. We have the booklets, which is huge for some reason. And we have this that, you know, let's check what the heck did I almost ruin here. Oh, wow, that actually comes with sort of a charger. Well, it's not a battery or something, but as you can see, you do have a plug. That's really good because I am intending to use that. And you have some mounting and cable. That's good. So you have a cable. We'll see in a moment that. And you can mount it to actually a wall. That's kind of cool. I'm not really sure that I'll be using that, but good to have. Probably actually use some uh, sticky gel pads. Not. It probably will be better because I might need to then change the place or something. So that's the camera. That's kind of cool. That looks actually awesome. This camera can move around. I mean this thing can move and this one about 360 degrees. It's an 1080 camera. And if we look actually at the box, do it like this. So you can see that it's an HD 1080 camera. It has a two-way communication, so you can actually listen and even talk to the person in your room in case of emergency. Or if you're actually monitoring the dog, you can shout at it, don't eat that sofa or something like that. Not really sure that that will help, but yeah. And it's a 360 panoramic I'm not really sure that it is indeed 360, but we'll check it. And it has some infrared night vision, not really sure how that good, but it should be good. And we have a multi-speed playback. I'm not really sure why you need that, but yeah. So if we look at the camera, I don't want to show you here, but there is a QR code here in order to configure that. So I'm sorry, but I'm hiding that. And sadly, as you can see, it's a micro USB, not a USB-C. I'm trying to find where actually you put your SD, because there is a place to put an SD card. And honestly, I cannot find it. Okay, so I did find where the SD card actually is. If we move that up, you can see that it goes here. That's kind of a weird place, but okay, I guess. Let's hope it won't stuck there if it goes down or something. Uh, I currently don't have an SD card actually to check it. So uh, I'm guessing that we can plug that thing in and check how it works. Cause honestly, I never use it. Never tried that thing. And let's see. And I must say the cable here, the USB cable is very, very long. It's, I believe two meters or even two and a half maybe. That's quite good. So let's plug that thing in here. And I'm pretty sure that it will try to move around now and we'll turn it on or something. So let's check this out. So I'm plugging it in in three, two, one. Let's see if it will do anything. Not really sure if there should be anything to plug or anything to do here. But yeah, okay, so there is a light here, as you can see. 
Nothing else, nothing moves, nothing happening. Oh, now it moves. Scan QR codes paired the device. Waiting for connection. Okay. So we do need to scan the QR code, but I'm not really sure. We probably need the Mi Home app. Let's try to find the app and I'll try to connect it. Waiting for connection. Okay, so actually when I just logged in, uh, it showed up right away that Waiting it found it. So I guess we can, you know, let's try to press that. And let's see, I'm guessing that it will auto connect or something. Oh, well, I'll probably need to again disable the Mac filtering, obviously. Oh, so you need to scan the QR code that's showing on the phone on... Oh, okay. Oh wow, that was really simple and fast. So you do actually need to show the QR code from your phone to the camera and then it just works immediately. That's amazing, that seems that it's a pretty good and high quality camera in that case. So, uh, currently it's in the bedroom, so let's put it here. And yeah, it does share, tell you that it's a video camera. Next, obviously. You can share the device with other people if you want. We're not going to do that right now. Let's get started. Okay, so we have some legal info, whatever. Oh, and it's actually showing me right now. That's quite nice. Okay, so we can move it around and you know what? Um, let's see how it's working. Let's try to move it around. Yeah, it's actually working pretty good. Whenever I'm pressing, it actually moves around. That's kind of cool. And you know what? Oh, you see? Tuning beyond this point is not possible. That's why I told that it's not exactly a 360 camera. But we still can go down and up. Not really sure why you should see the ceiling, but whatever. Let's see how down can we go. Okay, that's most... What's that I'm wondering? Your camera does not have an SD. Okay, so um, currently I don't have any SD card inside, but that's okay. We have some camera calibration. Oh, that's kind of cool. It just moves around and around. That's kind of cool. Not really sure what's... Oh, still continuing it. Hello. That's kind of funny. I don't know. It works a little bit weird on which side you can navigate and move. Let's put it here so yeah, it sort of looks forward now, as you can see. And we can turn on probably the audio. Oh, okay, so as you can see, it does have a microphone. And you can choose here to take probably video and stuff like that. Currently, I don't have any SD card, so I'm not really sure what can it show you. Oh, you can choose between HD, low and auto. Obviously, we prefer HD. We have that, which will probably give us full screen or something like that. Yeah. So the app is pretty cool, I guess. Oh, you can move it sort of with a joystick here. That's kind of cool. Um, let's do it like that. We have a voice call. I'm not really going to do that, but let's see. One, two, three. Okay. So as you can see, it does work. Let's move it back there. I still didn't quite figure out which way it can move or not, but okay. It does can move up, that's cool. Monitoring, let's see what we have. Oh, so um, you can use some home monitoring and let's see what can it do. <laughs> baby crying detection, that's kind of cool. So if you want a baby monitor, that can act like that. Let's do it like that. Alert sensitivity, alarm interval, not fully sure what that will do. Let's check three minutes for now, just for the test. Move tracking. The camera follows the camera, okay. So let's, you know what, let's check this. Let's try to show the camera something. Okay, it actually moves um, where my hand is right now. And I did receive some notification. Okay, so it did detect something. Guess if we'll try to refresh here. Hello, yeah. 
Now it's looking at the phone. That's kind of funny. So uh, that's kind of cool. I'm not really sure uh, if we can actually view it or something. Yeah, we can. Uh, it looks like that. Let's hit play here. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. So it did recognize my hand and all the movement and everything. That's cool. And it actually did follow it. That's awesome. And now it sees my face because it did detect that this part is moving a lot. And now for some reason it did lose it, but I think it's because my hand moved. And now it's trying to search for the last thing that moved. So if I'll move like that probably, and if I'll move here and go there. No, yeah. seriously, now you look at me. Okay, so look at me, look at me. Hello, hello. Uh, I think it kind of lost me. Yeah, now it pretty much searches for whatever is moving and I think it's kind of lost it. But hey, it works. Yeah, hello to you. Uh, now it actually did recognize me and it does see that I am moving and if I'll move here, I guess it will, yeah, it does follow me. That's kind of cool. So, hello, follow me back. Great. So, it does follow me, but it just loses for some reason. I think it's because of my microphone cable here, but I'm not really sure. Hello to you again. I'm moving. That's me. You can see me. That's good. Okay, how do we stop that thing? I prefer to stop it for now. You know what? Actually, let's not stop it. That's quite cool enough. Let's see if we can do some playback. Uh, we don't have any files, but that's because we don't have any SD card inserted. And um, let's go here, let's see what else we have here. So, um, while the camera is still trying to figure out who is where and whatever, let's move it ahead enough of it. Um, I'm going to try to show you some settings on the app here. So, yeah, it does recognize that I'm moving and everything. Let's go to camera settings here. Uh, we can turn off the status light. Let's look at the camera for a moment. Turning off now the status light. As you can see, it's now off. Let's turn it back on. And it should be on in a moment. And now it's on. Okay. We have some data usage warning. We have some sleep settings. So if you don't want the camera to actually report something or move while you sleep, that's kind of cool option. And we have image settings. Uh, we can disable or enable a watermark. I'm not really sure which watermark does it use or whatever, but okay. We can rotate the image, which means that uh, if you place your camera upside down or something, you can rotate it. That's kind of cool. And let's go back. We have night vision settings. Let's check this out. And basically it uses normal mode or infrared. We can use out on off. We can use always on, always off. That's nice. We can restart the device from here if we look closely. And let's go back for a moment. Let's go to, so home monitoring is where we actually were right now. That's the settings that I already showed you. We have some automation. Oh, we, ha we can manage the storage, but since we don't have any storage right now, um, we have nothing. Oh, we can set a NAS network storage, which means, because, okay, we can set a NAS record storage, but we will have an SD card required here. So yeah, you still need to have an SD card of some amount of memory. And I do have some small SD cards, so it should be good. Let's go back here. Let's see what else we have automation. Now, I'm not really sure what we can do with automation, but let's tap plus to add some scenes. So if that, then that, that's kind of cool. If I guess the camera will pick something or you have a schedule. Smart device, doesn't see any smart device. Okay, let's see what can it do then. Run a scene, turn on off scene, send delay, blah, blah. That's kind of nice. You can pretty much check your things, turn on the camera or off whenever you need it. So automation might be useful. You can share the device, as I said before, to others. And you have some general settings. Oh, we do have firmware update already. We have a device name, which we can do. And more settings. Let's see here. Security settings, which is obviously very important. 
network info, time zone. That's quite a cool. So, um, I can say that this is a good camera that, again, uh, it can follow you uh, when actually it actually finds you because right now it pretty much lost me for some reason. I'm not fully sure why, but okay, I guess we can try to make it follow me. Maybe. Okay, yeah. That's quite follow me. Yeah. And I'm here, up here. So, yeah, we will probably do the firmware update and I guess it will be even better. But that's quite a cool camera and now it actually sees me again. And if I'll see a good discount or a good price on it, I'll obviously give you the description and even if not, I'll give you in the description the link to this camera so you can find it the same model. There are different types of models, but that one, as you can see, moves and you can move it around yourself. So I believe that's a better version of those cameras. And again, I'm not going to use this all the time for security reasons. Uh, you can still hack those things pretty easily, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I don't trust it too much. But sometimes when you go away or you leave the house empty or something, or someone that you don't really trust comes or something, that's quite a good thing. And that's nice to have. Thank you for watching this Demos Tech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.